Not time for me to take my last breath. Lord knows I'm nowhere near done yet. Oh, hey, yo, what is good, guys? What is good, Creek Squad fam? Oh, Bubba. <laughs> the hits just keep on coming, don't they? <laughs> so we got church with a brand new vlog. This one being titled Harry Coochie Country. <laughs> I couldn't even say it with a straight face. Oh, man, we, we all know what, what this must be about. But before we get even deeper into it, yo, intro, please. <laughs> I, oh. So I got to get my hustle on. I, oh. So I got to get my hustle on. Ah, yo, again, what is good, Creek Squad fam? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all. <laughs> We're about to get into this one right here. here. Woo! <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to hear what Church has to say about old, um, I guess, OHCC now. <laughs> so, without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and just jump right into this thing. But like it. Hey, hey. Go. We interrupt the important shit you're doing to bring you something you don't care about, so you giggle a little bit. <laughs> Tonight, a transgender woman claims she was harassed by a worker at... Oh, hold on. I'm, I should grab my phone for this one. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into this. Construction site. <laughs> All right, so if y'all have been following the past few days, you know there's a him, her named Danielle who really wants my attention, but I can't give him, her my attention because it was Valentine's Day yesterday, and that's for just my regular her. You know what I'm saying? You see, Danielle... Oh yeah, you know what I mean? On Valentine's Day, you know where your priorities lie, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, bro, let's go. I can't really take a joke because Danielle hasn't been on a construction site or done hard labor before. He's never been in an environment where guys crack on each other and talk shit to each other to make the time go by faster. If somebody cracks a joke on Danielle, Danielle throws him hers purse and goes and makes a tweet about it. You see the other... Well, Danielle sounds like a sensitive little biznatch. I mean, I'm just saying. And of course, ain't nobody got time for that. Facts. Let's go. Today I started cracking on Danielle, aka Harry Coochie Country, to the point where he got so frustrated and aggravated and upset that he went home and made a <laughs> fucking Harry Coochie Country. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> No wonder Danielle uh, is, is upset, man. She needs her fucking uh, lawn mowed and shit. And she, ugh, I wouldn't want to be the person who, who, who gets stuck with that job. <laughs> YouTube video acting like a bitch. To the point where mm -hmm. the bitch come out to the outside. He literally put a wig on and everything. You ever make somebody so mad they have an involuntary sex change, bruh? Bruh, this is the kind of person that you just want to tell... I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. But some of you probably already seen Danielle have this kind of behavior before. Like a long time ago when Danielle got caught slipping in GameStop. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. Right beforehand, you fucking... Stop <laughs> it! she is thinking right now <laughs> oh <laughs> and speaking of which excuse me it's ma'am it is ma'am <laughs> <Bro. laughs> let's go said sir motherfucker take it outside if you want to call me sir again I will show you a did you hear that Talking about. Catch me outside. How about that? I mean, it's just keep on coming. I'm telling you. Fucking sir, I motherfucker. I apologize now. 
<laughs> you see, now that Danielle went back to Dan, he thinks he can get on YouTube and just walk around like a really shitty 20 minute long Folgers commercial and do things like talk really slow and deep and loud, make firm hand movement, and everyone's just gonna believe everything he fucking says. Trotting up to the... Talking so real damn slow, you know what I mean? Like, like he's just really, really constipated, you know what I mean? I mean, dude, make sure you go take a shit before you shoot a video. <laughs> just saying. The camera, this cup of homebrew, doing things like turning his head sideways and breathing through his nostrils really deep. <sighs> Onion grass in the wind. Hello, America. You can say hello to us all you want, but you still look like an eight-year-old American Eagle model that just like grew all the way up overnight and just didn't change his clothes. I mean, dude, you're wearing the same. You know who Daniel reminds me of? I bet you he he was he or she what whatever the fuck they go by nowadays. I bet you that when when they were a kid, right? They're probably this, this spoiled rich kid who's never heard the the word no a single day in their life. Well, now that you got someone who is brave enough to stand up against him, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, it is really, really making his coochie itch in the worst way possible. Let's go. Him exact pants and your little <clears throat> fucking GameStop freak out that you are your badass music video. I mean, fuck, you didn't even change pants. <laughs> Never thought a beer without a mask could be a fucking <laughs> 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 Damn it! Church is making me sick over here, man. Make me cough and shit. <laughs> damn it, Church! Oh damn, bro. This, bro, them jeans did look alike though. <laughs> I wonder if old blue jean face. Um, this shop is the same clothing store. I'm just saying. But let's go. Jeans. This motherfucker was the first person at the door on Black Friday at Limited 2 and needed some pants for his music video. Or hell, probably not. He's got politics shoved so far up his ass he probably thought on Black Friday he can go to Target and meet Ben Carson. <laughs> Could you... <laughs> Man, let's go. Imagine. Black Friday sale, everyone. This fucking asshole pulls up looking like a drunk dude on Panama Beach during 4th of July. Where's Ben? Is Ben here? Look, man, I know you're from, like, around <coughs> Austin, Texas, but you're not Alex Jones, okay? But you probably should go over to his website and get some male vitality, because whatever you've been purchasing, probably from some other country and got estrogen in it. I mean, you have... Mm-hmm, 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 crying cr about, about his money, you know what I mean, to the point where he's just like... Give me your fucking money! <laughs> I'm saying cried a lot the past few days and been in your feelings and started dressing up like a woman. But then again, mm -hmm. you are a fan of mine, so you probably just copied the old Vine skits I did <clears> back <throat> in the day, thinking it would work for you now. Hmm. It's making me wonder. Mm hmm Old bitch ass. No! <laughs> hey, I'm a smaller content creator, so I don't know if, I, if I'm allowed to say that. I'm just saying, bruh. wonder about you, hairy coochie country. I mean, you told me these stories about you being in the rodeo. What part did you play? Because, hey, I do know about some Texas stuff. You sure you wasn't the buckle bunny? Ooh, how fast can I go try catch that little bit of rodeo? I see what he did there. It takes a buckle bunny to recognize a buckle bunny. <laughs> I see what you did there, church. <laughs> In the rodeo, out of the rodeo, you're still a fucking clown. Some people get in their feelings and lay down at night. Man, he, he's a worse clown than I am. <laughs> and, and I thought my jokes were bad. <laughs> Open their pink furry diary and write in it how they're depressed because everyone's picking on them because they're a country guy who can't drive a stick shift. And some of us can fly through the... Exactly, I'm supposed to believe this dude is heavy duty country and this motherfucker can't drive a stick shift. <laughs> Uh, I probably shouldn't laugh too much because I can't drive a stick shift either. But I mean, hey, I I'm not the one trying to prove that I'm more country th th than the next man. Especially when I've only been living out in the sticks for the past few years. This uh, December will mark four years of me living out in the sticks. I'm a city boy. The only kind of ride I know how to drive is an automatic. And at least I'm man enough to admit that. Let's go. 
the woods at 60, 70 <clears throat> miles an hour and almost wreck terribly, but correct everything with the hand movements of Keanu Reeves. He is sending it. Some people at age 19 are spoiled rotten and cuss their parents out for $20 for gas. And thanks to... And I have a feeling that's the kind of person, you know, old Harry Coochie Country is. Their life is over when grass <clears throat> stains are on their Nike shock. And other 19-year-olds yep. like me and my friends were busting our ass helping build America on job sites with a bunch of roughnecks just cutting up and having fun. Yep. <clears throat> and before you make some unicorn comment like, oh my god, what's up with his phone audio or something gay like that, just know it's a space heater. You probably don't know what that is, but it's a space heater. And my dad actually has one of those in his um in his shop. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's proof of who I am, which is why I'm respected <clears throat> by the working class. Now, as far Amen. As far as the haters go and the people that hate on him, they've all wanted something from him. Mm -hmm. Whether it was a guitar player that put him on a song that had millions of views that yep. didn't do anything with it, it's Up Church's fault. The old boy from the video that Up Church just released, Big Country or whatever the out, whatever heavy country, whatever it was, still at the end of the day, wanted something from Up Church, didn't get what he wanted, and then wants to talk shit. <clears throat> I said it before. They're fucking haters. This the Up Church has done nothing but good for people taking pictures with fans. Absolutely, he's at kids. Yep, has a dope ass show. I've been to one of his shows. It's fucking. It was a amazing fucking show. No issues at the show. Quit being fucking haters and support the man for what he does. He does it on his own. He does it his way, and that's the problem. The dude, like I say, he's a people's champ. We love him. We love him because of that. We love him because he's a normal guy. Yes. Mm -hmm. A rapper who, <coughs> who is, and a country artist who is very well known and is famous, but he's a normal guy. Yep. And he treats people normally. He treats people like humans. Um, he treats fans like humans, not just numbers. And that's why we love him. See, because what we've all created, me and these people, is not something you can fucking act like with Costa glasses and boot <laughs> barn hats. There's not a price tag or a store where you can go buy real. There's not a school where they can teach you how to act real. It's just something you fucking have or you don't. Yep. And other motherfuckers who are real are going to notice it. Yeah, see, you don't... Facts! Facts! I've said this in past videos. Real recognize real. Game recognize game. That is something I learned, again, growing up in the hood. You know what I mean? The hood is no different than those who actually live out in the country. You know what I mean? Like, people who live out in the country, they know if you're really country or not. Based on how you act, how you walk, how you talk and everything. It's just like in the hood. <clears throat> we know if you're really hood or not based on how you walk, how you talk. You know what I'm saying? If it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, you know what I'm saying? Odds are it's a fucking duck. <clears throat> you don't have to explain yourself when you're a real motherfucker in real life. But mm -hmm. no! Look at you. You're a big fucking swole cowboy. Crying and bitching like a baby talking shit because you're mad that I'm too real. When I'm out here really picking up babies talking shit to a whole group of guys because they almost hit the baby. Hey man, have you lost your fucking This is what you're throwing fists beside, okay? I'm gonna kick you in the damn face if this kid gets Oh! See, that's a real, that's a real dude right there, yo. You know what I mean? He cared more about that kid than anyone else there. He cared enough about that kid to tell some of his own fans, you know what I mean? Look, man, anything happens to this kid, I'm whooping that ass. You know what I'm saying? You are not going to do anything to this kid as, as long as I'm around. You know what I mean? Because, <clears throat> bruh, bruh, what kind of what kind of human, you know what I mean, is careless around kids? Let's go. Damn, <clears throat> I'm the people champ. Which brings me to my next point. I know you really want Yes, he is. And by the way, Church, if you're watching this, you need to check out that remix. I don't know if you saw that remix that Jesse B did. You need to go peek that out, man. I'm telling you, I think Old Girl could be uh, can be a dope addition to the roster. Just, just a suggestion, my guy. I'm just saying. 
want to get this play date <clears throat> together where you try to full mount me and live out your fantasies. But if you want to be an MMA fighter, go fight MMA fighters. Exactly. I'm not making your first fight this big, huge fight that makes a million dollars just because you fought someone <clears throat> famous. Once again, let's exactly. back to your fucking weird world you're living in. You're not a superstar. You don't. You're not. If you're gonna do something like that, just fucking do it like a normal person. Antagonize me in real life when I'm at the gas station or something. I mean, fuck, it won't be the first time someone's done that to me. Think of y'all motherfuckers always running y'all's motherfucking mouth. Get your ass over here. What? He started it. He spit on my car and was like, what are you gonna do about it? That was that incident I, I, I made reference to in a past reaction video. See, this is the kind of person church is. Don't tell, the, don't come on here and try to make this guy out to be all talk and no walk like Harry Coochie Country did. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, right in up, church. We all know that you are 99% talk and 1% walk. Motherfucker, you just saw a clip right now of him confronting a guy for spitting on his car, dude. Bruh. Bruh. Receipt much? I'm just saying. All right, fat boy, pull over. Y'all have never seen me mad before. You just think you have. Anyways, last thing I want to cover before Danielle wakes up and starts jacking off to faces of Steven Crowder on Google Images is his last bullshit video he made. <coughs> you know, the I'm gonna be the bigger man. And then he put some quote from the Bible in the comments about Goliath and some other shit. You see, Dan posting this, I'm gonna be the bigger man and all this shit. It's really some CNN shit, which is, <coughs> I thought, the stuff he didn't like. That's crazy. He's like a white Don Lemon. I would say a white. Ooh, he should have called him a white Don Lemon, bro. Did I not say? Did I not say a sheep in wolf's clothing? Hmm? Hmm? That is not alpha wolf material, my guy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're supposed to be anti-mainstream news media. Pro-America. Pro-1A. Pro-2A. And you're posting stuff from CNN? I thought the stuff he didn't like. <clears throat> That's crazy. He's like a white Don Lemon. Mm -hmm. I would say a white straight Don Lemon, but mm, I don't know. He tried to... Yeah, I, I find him very, very uh, suspect. You know what I mean? I mean, he does look like one of them... Um, you know, one of them cowboys that would uh, probably ride up to a certain mountain, if you know what I'm, if you know what I'm getting at. I'm just saying. Cancel me, and then I get invited to the cookout. I seen the video from 2014 where you're like, "Look, everyone, I'm sure it's gonna be fucking in Where well, here's you an updated video, you clickbait and bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Instead, he voted that one change coming to the cookout. <laughs> church coming to the cookout. Church, church, I know you watching this. You come into the cookout, hey, on gang. That's my white boy, man. You see, I have this thing called the sauce, and not all of us can have it. And knowing if someone has the sauce is how they present <clears throat> themselves, how they talk, how they treat people. And it's evident that you've never seen the sauce, smelt the sauce, or even had it on a sandwich. I mean, let's be real. You're probably gonna watch this video and make some stank face and be like, oh, what does the sauce mean? Yeah, this is why you're not invited to the cookout. And last thing, back to you being like, oh yes, I'm being the bigger man. Tell the truth, bro. You tried and it didn't work. You know you can't own my last name. It's false. The <clears> only <throat> other thing that you could think to say was on some CNN shit. A lie to make you look better. You know, just... And I don't know about y'all, but... Someone trying to own another person? Ain't that some... How can I say this? Ain't that close to... You know what, um, what sounds so much like slavery? I'm, I'm just saying, how, 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 how is it that one man is trying to own another man? You see, what, what, what Church tried to do in regards to the trademark, he was just buying a name. This guy was trying to buy a person. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm just saying.
Just the same <clears throat> as you bitch about CNN making these headlines all the time. You do the same thing. Yep. Well, guys, I'm going to be the bigger person since I can't do it and I'm going to look like a fucking idiot. I have to say something. See how that works? <laughs> oh, Danielle. I'm so sick of this tyranny. All they do is create problems and then swoop in and try to act like the hero by fixing the problem they created. Hmm. Who does that sound like, little girl? <sighs> I told you, don't poke the bear, fuggin'. And you just walked into the den and was like, Hello, America. I'm here to interview you about Black Bears Matter. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking with all of us over here is like breaking a mirror. Now you're going to have to deal with people calling you a sparkly, glittery cowboy for the next seven years. Mm -hmm. Now your views are going to go down. Any music you make, no one's going to take it serious. And you're always going to have that one little tiny strand of upchurch DNA in your blood for the rest of <coughs> your life. I mean, the best thing you could do is link up with the other dumb bitches who done the same thing. Mm -hmm. You all fit in perfect with each other. Yep. Y'all can sit in circles and... Hold hands. Yep. And write things you don't like about Ryan Upchurch on a piece of paper. You can burn them. Hell, you may as have a, a Ryan Upchurch anonymous meeting. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. A group therapy session, if you will. And put them into a pretty bowl. And you can all eat ice cream and watch Netflix. Maybe get like Manny Petties with each other. It'll go really great with your bedazzled jeans. And I mean, hey, look at the bright side of things. You won't have to worry about chipping or scuffing your acrylics. You don't work. And it's not like you drive a stick shift. You drive an automatic. So, less chance of them getting chipped. I don't know. I mean, true, he, he may not be able to drive, well, that kind of stick shift. But who's to say he's not able to drive a different kind of stick shift, if you know what I mean. I'm just saying. Well, guys, I'm not going to make this video too long because the working class people have to get back to work. I hope you all have a good mm -hmm. rest of y'all's day. And uh, to Harry Coochie Country. And anybody that has a problem with Upchurch, not only do you got a problem with me, you got a problem with the rest of them fucking skins. That's mm -hmm. how people talk about you when you respect it. Now take those ugly ass jeans off. Oh, there once were two cowboys right along a dusty trail And they discovered they can sleep with another male And they was having butt sex Cowboy butt sex Side of me Come on, everybody Side of me Side of me <laughs> All right, y'all, you know I got to hit the like on this one. Because, yo, <clears throat> my man, my man, keep coming with the facts. You know what I mean? You know, Church, he a straight shooter. You know what I mean? This is why I respect this dude. You know, and uh, that's why, you know, I'm rocking with this dude. You know what I mean? Bruh. Bruh. Man, my man here is not afraid to tell it like it is. And, I, and yo, as y'all know, I'm Creek Squad fam. So, yeah, anyone got a problem with Church? Not only do you have a problem with fellow reactors, you know what I'm saying, who support Church, that also goes for me as well. You know what I mean? Church said himself, too, I'm one of his favorite reactors. He said that in one of my comment threads. Don't believe me? Go to the Up Church Apology reaction video. He said in that comment thread, I'm one of his favorite reactors. And I appreciate you, Church, for that, by the way. Coming from you, man. Yo. Real talk, man. That that, that means a lot. And uh, that's why, you know, what everyone else said, you know, you got a problem with church, you got a problem with them, that goes for me too. You got a problem with me as well, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. All right, Creek Squad fam, y'all know the deal. If y'all with this video 100% like I am, then you know what to do with that original video link. That'll be in the description down below. More than welcome to hit that up whenever and however as many times as you'd like, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. And uh, you guys know all know the deal when it comes to my reactions. Hey, if you're feeling them. You know what to do with that thumbs up down below. You know what to do with that comment section down below. I look forward to checking out all y'all's feedback, as I always do. And don't forget, underneath the original video link, we got the link for the second channel if you're into gaming, wrestling, which reminds me, I do need to make a video for the new Wrestling Code video game. They just announced um, Scott Steiner um, being in, in the game. And fun fact, I did actually get to meet old Big Papa Pump. As a matter of fact, I'm about to show y'all a receipt. <laughs> Booyaka! Got Scott Steiner's autograph, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, dude was 
I was probably covering his face originally, so I just want to make sure y'all get a good look at his face. And yeah, there's his autograph right there. So yeah. <clears throat> Whew. Yo, remind me to show you guys my autograph collection, you know what I'm saying? If you're interested, that is, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. But anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, y'all. And uh, don't forget, underneath the second channel link, we have, of course, reaction request instructions. If you want to do what Katrina did, what my man uh, Jay from the Redneck Riviera does, you know what I'm saying? Feel free to look over the reaction request instructions. Proceed in a way that makes you the most comfortable. Remember, no pressure. Uh, free requests are just as important. I do my best to uh, respond to them uh, as quickly and as swiftly as I possibly can. Shout out to Marla Hudgens. Marla, if you're watching this video, I did get your, your request for home free. Um, I'm definitely going to hit up some uh, more uh, home free videos. So yeah, those are on the way. I've just been real busy, you know what I mean? Uh, dropping the new single. Uh, promoting the shit out of that new single, you know what I'm saying, which is called My Last Breath. Go check that out. And um, in one of my previous videos, I did uh, say that I do have a No VIP remix. That No VIP remix, it, to make it easier for you guys to find, if you go to my playlist, Sink or Swim, it's actually the last video on that playlist, I believe. But yeah, so yeah, go check out that No VIP remix, you know what I'm saying? Be greatly appreciated. Give it a thumbs up. If, if you'd be so kind, you know what I mean? We'd greatly appreciate it. And, of course, leave your feedback on there. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, yeah, <clears throat> I, I really love that remix, man. I thought, I thought it came out really, really good. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, y'all. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, don't forget, underneath the uh, reaction request instructions, we also got the two store links. We got Spring Merch Store, Kula Hawaii CBD, both of which will have their own discount slash coupon codes. And also, don't forget to uh, support all the fan bam and the folks that I rock with section. You know what I'm saying? Would be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, I think I nailed everything. And uh, oh, also don't forget, if you can't support the channel financially, no worries, all good, no hard feels. Trust, I understand. You are still helping out in the long run by simply making sure you are subscribed to this channel. You know what I mean? Especially if you're new here, of course. And also don't forget to have your bell notification set to all so you never miss an upload. And uh, yeah, now I think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. Saying that y'all have a blessed one. Catch y'all. Next one. Till next time, Creek Squad fam. Peace.